All right, we're back. Uh, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Uh, what could be outside? By the way, I'm recording this at the uh, day after yesterday's recording session, which you can tell the date is different. Hey. Kyoto Taki! A fantastic morning, isn't it? Tataka? Hmm. Now then, if you... <clears throat> I really need to drink some water beforehand. <laughs> <clears throat> now then, if you'll pardon the interruption! Without waiting for a reply, Taka barge into my room. God damn it, what do you want? What is it, dude? What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may be may batter me, I will not fall I'm not gonna um, try and harden my voice any longer, I don't think. Um, um I will not fall as long as my feet are finally uh for oh, sorry, firmly planted. You agree, right? I'm not sure what I understand yeah. If you can't do it alone, you'll find someone to support you, and you can support them back. That's me? how you can overcome any storm! Mm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we need we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet, and now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to go and let everyone else know the... Good news. Uh, okay. I don't think everyone's gonna follow his command, but okay. Oh, well, I'll I'll do it because I'm the goody two shoe that I am, I guess. Uh, where's the dining hall? Can I um, what's this uh? Oh, that helps. So I could tell which room is my room. Which one's me? Actually, hold on. Is this me? God, I look like a derp. Um, doesn't say anything else. I don't think. Why is there a bathing suit? Is that like a swimming area? Bath. So I don't think we get to shower just yet. It's only it's been three days and we have yet to shower. Also, it seems like the characters' icons are not um. Oh whoa that that interesting pop in. What is the power of PlayStation Vita not capable of such a tias uh, task? Um, I swear to God, Al's fucking hair looks like a smoothie cone. Uh, okay, um, square right. So I could tell which character is here. Uh, Leon, that chick. So I'm guessing, uh, do we have to in order to progress through the story? How do I, um, switch to the dormitory? Not... Well, let's talk to Toko before we, uh, go in, I guess, if this is mandatory. Um, Toko? Wh what? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You probably should head to the dining hall, right? I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. <laughs> uh, I'm so nervous. Okay. Um, I guess those are for like extra dialogues in case we kind of want to like talk to uh, those guys. So let's talk to um Leon and the other chick. Forgot her name. Sorry. This girl. Uh, Junko. Hey, Makoto. Can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Huh? My mascara is totally clumpy. Girls, am I right? Uh, I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came in and woke me up. What a dick! The hell are they talking about? Uh, I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go and see if Celeste can hook me up. Uh, okay, so she's a bitch. I don't think she's gonna be my sparring partner or whatever we're supposed to be doing. Uh, where the fuck's Leon? He's here? No, not here. Oh, whoa! You came out of nowhere, dude! Okay! Hey, dude. <clears throat> I'm so freaking tired. What the hell's wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I guess he's going around waking up everyone. You know what I mean. It's seriously annoying. I'm gonna go back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. I don't think it'll be any good. I'm sure I'll just come bug you again. Yeah, yeah probably, damn it. Hey! If push comes to shove, you can always sleep at the- Oh, wait, no, you can't. Never mind. Fuck! The rules! Damn it! Uh, wait, what time is it right now? Is it even 7 o'clock? Are we even allowed to go outside here? I guess we better just go then. Make sure you don't sleep, otherwise it's considered prohibiting the rules. Let me check the rule set real quickly. I was about to say, oh, you could just- Gain some energy and sleep in the cafeteria, but I forgot. That's school regulations right there. Let me see him. Um, specifically. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be... Ah, uh, shit. So, yeah, we cannot sleep 
anywhere aside from the dormitory. Shit. So yeah, sleeping out of the uh, cafeteria room is out of the question. God damn it, Taka! Alright, where are we now? What are we doing here? Everyone's here. Okay. Alright, dude. With you and your Nazi handband. What's up? What's with the armband? Uh, okay. Looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Okay. Quiet down and listen. Seems like everyone's in their same usual spot. Where the fuck am I sitting, though? Everyone, thank <clears throat> everyone. Thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is the breakfast meeting, to allow us to become friends and build trust. Or that could fuck us over, like building trust and then they'll backstab us later on and pretend, Ah, psych, I'm not your friend after all, I'm just here for the, esca the escapade. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall, every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! Uh... You want to eat breakfast with other p people? I've never done that b before. I'm not so sure. I mean, seriously? No, I sound like Polly Shore whenever I talk at Toko or something. Um, yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Science that goes throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously, nothing at all. Anything! It can be about how you get- how to get out, or who's doing this. Nobody has anything! Are you okay with this? Are you going to die? <laughs> you are going huh? to die. Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell?! Don't even freaking joke about that! <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So, you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? what? Yeah, sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. Uh, but shit! Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, feel free. Uh. Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell, th one thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would be, why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it, would it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are. Uh, um. Um. Huh? Uh. What's up? Um. If. If you think in terms of people who were really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? <laughs> HOLD IT! A murderous fiend, Chihiro? Do you have some idea who might be all behind this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... CERTAINLY IS NOT AS CONCERN- <laughs> Oh god, I love this guy when he just barges in the conversation. I'll, be, I'll allow whatever, although if he interrupts me during my date sessions, I will fucking kill you. You will be on my hit list, dude. Alright, um, I'll allow whoever remarks you may have. You know? Uh, okay, well... Have you ever guys- have you guys ever heard of Genocide J Jack? I was about to say Jake for a second, I don't know why. You mean the serial killer that's been all over the news and all over the internet? <laughs> By the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutal, bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left with each num each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they start calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. Uh, they say he's claimed over a thousand lives. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Asterisk, 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 wait, no, that's, those are ellipses. Damn it, not asterisk, damn it, okay, sorry. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Question is, is he the killer or perpetrator in this scenario though? Or is that just 
coincidental. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put this together or something like this. But... Oh my god, my voice. Ow. <laughs> but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey. But oh. if they're they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Cuz help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> huh? H help? Cuz I mean We've been stuck here for a few days already, right? Norby's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're already worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> okay, Teddy, what's up? What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard! What are you doing here? Uh, I had to recuperate to remember what her voice was like. You guys, you guys seriously... Is that how you, yeah, that's how you spell seriously, never mind. Do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil ex or organized or ex uh, organization. The bad guys come here, along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they are. Are you sure you really want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on! If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. Ha 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 ha! What the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at all the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking. Dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer, Psycho Freaky Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freaky Bastard? Huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We all know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son hey, don't ignore me, asshole! Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody! I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored! There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Oh, oops, that was him. Sorry. Wait, I think, yes, ding ding ding, I figured it out. In other words, all the mysterious ingredient, all the mystery ingredients are here, right? People, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you? Shing! If you want to know, I'll tell ya. It's motive. Poo-hoo-hoo! It's so simple! I just had to give everyone a motive! Stop fucking around! Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys! You son of a Stop changing the goddamn subject! I have a little video I'd like to see for y'all to see! Oh, but don't worry! It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there is a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? <laughs> what do I want from you? Well, if you must know... That's all. Okay. <laughs> so he clearly is the psychopath in this group. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you have to figure it out for yourselves. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try to stop you. <laughs> Cause to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys searching so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. <laughs> He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. <laughs> he has no intention in standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting, dot dot dot. However, Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... 
Mondo starts glancing around the dining hall, but when he, his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Well, why me? Because you're closest to the door, that's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Pieces. Hey! Stop fucking around! You see the passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out all real quick! Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Sheesh, Monado boy is <laughs> a lot more of a prust than I imagined him to be. Hell awesome! Yeah. Thanks, I owe you one! Dude, you owe me two. You fucking punched me in the face unconsciously. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. We're counting on the both of ya. If anything happens, just yell out and I'll come running. Away from you, like a puss. Um... I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I had to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I can definitely can't tell he's a good person either. So then, where's the specific place Monokuma told mentioned? It must be somewhere where you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... Alright, I guess that's our first clue. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... Alright, let's look at the map section here. Oh, we could just press the triangle button. Okay, everyone's here. We go to the first floor if we want to, or the gym. Alright, so triangle is the map, right? So anything that looks like a video feed or reception area, I think we should be fine. What is this room? WHAT IS THIS ROOM?! Oh, I think this is probably like the spa area or something. That's the bath. Do we get to unlock those areas once we, um... Alright, so we're here now, so the end is right over there, the spare hotel, oh boy. Um, there's a music jukebox player onto the right side here, so I'm gonna guess, is this the area? We could go in it, so that's something. Alright, oh hey, computer rooms, awesome, alright. Uh, let's investigate, there's something in here, what is it? Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. Dun 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 dun, it's a bunch of DVDs, and each one of them has a label with someone's name. With someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. All right. So we can watch the DVDs or something? Can we? I mean, I want to see more information on these people so that I could get an engagement on them. The next, next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. I'll probably play those DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quickly before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs. I found the box and I found the one with my name on it. Then I slid onto the expensive-looking player. I guess I'm being um. More, uh, I guess, uh, concern for the other guys, so I'm not gonna watch the other DVDs, despite that I'm the jack, I'm the fucking, you know, snooty guy. Oh well. I, I can't relate to this main character whatsoever, he's boring. I sat down and started intently at the darkened screen, and then... What's the video all about? Uh, uh? I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. I'm guessing either the middle guy's my dad, or my brother, the right guy's my mom or my bigger sister, or the left one is my sister, slash... I don't fucking know. Because what I saw on the monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended here, it would have been fine. A, mes a message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy. If a little bit embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life. So I had to be pretty... 
So I had a pretty strong feeling that this video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. What the shit is this? This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where did everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out on the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi, accepted into Hope's Peak. Oh shit, oops, like fuck. Something's happened to this family's well being. Uh oh. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well being? Look for the answer after graduation. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside of me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about everything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. My couch? So I'm guessing. What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They started staring at me, faces full of confusion. Um, Wh what's going on? With a word, I, I point to the cardboard box. Is it like... Is that what Makuna... Mo Makuna Matata... Monokuma was talking about? What's on them? They all started gathering around and each of them grabbed a DVD on their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey. Yeah, no way it's real! <laughs> no way! <laughs> I can't take it anymore! I can't take the this moment! Let me out of here! Uh, I hear she, she's gonna be the annoying. I'm sorry if my voice is really annoying. I'm just trying to mimic what the character might actually say. Um, as soon as I saw their reactions, I knew it. They all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this was what he meant by motive. He wanted us to- He wants to feel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner dilemma. Hmm. Ha! Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kinda sounds like us right now! Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we'll be afraid someone might betray us! <gasps> Don't push those awful thoughts in our heads! That's exactly what they want us to do! Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? what? Hey, this is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help us get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was that in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What? Wrong. I just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka, I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. S Sayaka. That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I had to go and make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic committees. Com committees like this. Oh. Okay, I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm r really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go to whatever you think you have to? 
We all don't we all don't have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But <laughs> that was a lazy excuse for everyone else to like maybe like er some people might actually look at their own tapes or whatever, but uh, but I don't have to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Or I could talk to these guys. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. We'll figure out Sayaka's situation after this. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dan Gan Something. Yeah, that. <laughs>